Hello everyone, and welcome back to their Minecraft New Nintendo 3S Edition Skyblock Let's Play video. And this is part 8 of my Let's Play series. And in the last video, we made quite a bit of progress, honestly. Probably the most progress we've ever made in this entire series so far. And we started off by making the platform for my new house, as you can tell. And I did a tiny bit of work here, not a whole lot. I kind of wanted to reserve it for this video today. And then I also did a lot more, well, that wasn't really a lot of work, but a lot of progress has been made over here. So I got tons of melons, but as you can tell, the melon broke in the last video and I had to replace it, unfortunately. It has not yet grown another uh, piece yet, unfortunately. So yeah, that is quite sad. And down here, off camera, two trees grew. So as you can tell, I managed to get more planks and also a considerable more amount of logs too. So I'm definitely very impressed by that. And also no additional grass has grown yet either. So definitely going to have to still continue to wait on that. Wow, I just realized I'm one piece of wool away from being able to get a bed. Wow, that might actually be happening soon. So in this video today, I want to do just a little bit of work on the hostile farm to get started. So if I make my way up, I want to get some dirt. I actually don't have any dirt. So I guess I might as well just break away this corner and get myself out of here. So that way I can start by uh, getting the funnel built so the funnel will essentially hold a water stream that will allow the mobs to travel down to this pit and of course they'll fall and die but obviously the this has to be specifically right in order for the water to end right here so if i remember correctly i think water travels seven blocks i'm pretty sure it's either seven or nine but i don't know the exact number so i'm gonna go ahead and go over oh, i need to stop running and jumping i'm so used to doing that from my other Let's play that and make sure not to do it here so I don't start losing my food. I'm going to go ahead and grab the bucket of water here. And I'm going to just test it out for myself and truly see how long it is. Because I hope to make the funnel today. So I'm hoping to accomplish all of that. Although that may take a while and it may not actually happen. Or that all of that may not actually happen. But we'll see. So there's four. The only thing I worry about is I worry that the mobs are going to get stuck here. But we'll have to find out. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was a little risky there. I probably should not ever do that again. All right, so this is seven, so let's see where we are. Oh, all right, looks like I'm gonna have to put some walls up. This will help to where the uh, water will stay contained. Obviously, walls are gonna have to go up on this anyway, so yeah. All right, let's see. It's gonna go the other way now, so I'm gonna have to make sure I place a couple blocks behind it, as shown here. And of course, right above this, I think it'll be the uh, area where the mob spawn, because of course they'll drop, and yeah, they'll go from there. So I just want to see if this works. Oh, yeah, it's a little too long. Okay. The only thing, though, is that once water hits it from, like, an upper source, will it still be like that? Will it still travel the same amount of blocks? So let's find that out. So if it starts from up here, will it still travel the same amount of blocks? It does. Although, eh, I don't know. But this is probably the height of the platform right there, and I already ran out of cobblestone. Well, would you look at that? But that means we're going to have to uh, bring this out just a little bit more. Probably just by one block, and that probably will do it. So if we bring this out by one more, this will make it eight. Now, I did say it was nine, which that theory is probably correct, I would think. So let's go ahead and start making the walls on that. Of course, I'm going to have to... Oh, yeah, I can just use this bridge that I made before to get back. Oh, a spider. You know what? This might actually drop some uh, string, which would be useful, but uh, I hope it doesn't fall off. Okay, I may try to lead it to... Oh, nice. All right, well, we got two pieces of string. I think I actually have some string in my chest, don't I? No, I don't. Ah, uh, how unfortunate. Oh, well, I'll just keep it in there for now then. As well as my melon seed and leather. Might as well keep the wool in there too. Why not? Oh, I'm up to two XP levels as well. So I came over here because I wanted to get more uh, cobblestone. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And yeah, so I did say I was going to work on my house today, but we're only going to do a little bit of the hostile farm today. I might just grab just enough cobblestone to where I can actually just make the platform where mobs are going to spawn. 
and then hopefully they actually will spawn <laughs> on that specific platform. And once they spawn, of course, they're going to fall into the water stream. That's kind of the idea of this mob farm. But the only issue is that I'm going to have to make sure that the platforms that they spawn on are like directly above water. So I'm going to have to figure that out in some way. But again, I'm not really sure how else to do a hostile mob farm. But um, water isn't so much of an issue. It's more or less just trying to get the mobs to spawn. I'm going to get it to just 20 pieces for now. I might just make the funnel. And then I'll figure out the uh, mob spawn area next video. Or off camera, I'll figure it out. And then, of course, next video, I'll showcase that. I'm hoping by episode 10, the hostile mob farm will be fully finished. The friendly mob farm, I'm still waiting. Oh, look, I think another piece of grass just got converted over so hopefully the rest of the grass will start to convert please god i mean it is taking so long for that grass to convert it is ridiculous i cannot believe how long it is taking it is stupid okay so i now have the water bucket so let's go ahead and place it down over here obviously it's gonna probably go over oh it doesn't all right well, having a second one would be nice because then that last piece will be filled because this is where mobs are going to get stuck. Well, you know what? That's not too big of a deal because then I can just break down this layer and just obviously have this at the end too. So it'll, it'll actually work out okay. And then, of course, I'm going to have the back wall going up. Back wall needs to go up just like this. And eventually, you know, obviously be able to place the walls down for the funnel. So let's get those in. Now, I would, Endermen are pretty much impossible in here, so what's the point of even, you know, placing down a roof that's tall enough for Endermen to use? So I think I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, do a too tall roof just like this all the way up to here. So that way there's enough space for general mobs to fit, but obviously not Endermen because, oh, there's a skeleton up there. You know what? That's great because I should hopefully be able to kill it for bones, but I need to make sure that I'm not taking any risks here. I'm going a little slow, but hopefully I can kill this thing. Okay, I got one arrow. Was that worth losing three hearts for? Eh, I don't know. Oh, nice! We got a sheep now. Okay, you know what that means? We can actually sleep. Yes! Finally! The friendly moth farm's still a long ways off, so I'm just gonna kill it. Okay. That cow is scaring me. God. It is like making me tense up, seriously. It is scaring that out of me. Alright, well, we can actually make a bed. So I don't know if you would really count that as a monumental thing to make or not, but I have a bed now. <laughs> so if I want to, of course I can sleep, which I'm gonna go put this in my house. So that's a perfect place for that, just right here. Now I can sleep. Now I don't have to worry about making all these videos tonight because I feel like whenever I record a video, it's always at night. So yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things that I think is kind of annoying. At least until I get the mob farm finished, the hostile farm, I'm obviously gonna have to, you know, have it at night, but not really though, because the whole thing will be in case. So it's not like, you know, it'll be you know that big of a deal if it's day or night, because obviously it'll be in case. So the lighting will be zero. So there you go. And I'm not going to make this too big. I think I'm going to make one more layer of cobblestone, then the oak will be behind this, and that'll be the last layer. Because, I mean, why make this house so big? You know, there's no point. You know, I mean, there's not really a whole lot I can do with it, so I don't want to waste a whole lot of materials on it either. But I am running low on wood already, and wow. <laughs> Would you look at that? So my wood supply is, oh, I can actually take this and bring this up. All right, my wood supply is now zero. So, yep, there you go. Wood supply is now zero. But now I have a nice place to start my videos in the future. Kind of a makeshift house. You wouldn't even think it's Skyblock at first. So I could start my video like this, and honestly, I mean, if you didn't even read the title, which of course every person who watches this video will read the title, you wouldn't even be able to tell it's Skyblock. But until I walk outside, that's when you'll be able to tell. <laughs> so yeah, um, not really a huge episode today, but mostly just because last episode was so big and monumental and I did so many things. This episode is kind of as small. Next video, though, like I said, hopefully that I'm I'm gonna make this a claim right now. I'm hoping that the hostile mob farm will be very close to being done, very close. I'm hoping at least the funnel is pretty much done now. I just have to get more cobblestone. I'll make the area where the mobs actually spawn, 
and I'll figure that whole situation out. And hopefully in the next video, I'll have a functional hostile mob farm. At least that is my goal. I hope to have that. And yeah, if I, I mean, it took a while for me to get this hostile mob farm completed, but it's finally going to be done, hopefully in the next video. But anyways, guys, it's going to go ahead and conclude it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.